all set to take on the big boys in the Sydney to Hobart yacht race. Well, things didn't go quite as well as they'd hoped, but they sure have a story to tell. They battled storms, high seas and broken gear. And after all that, they can't wait to do it all over again. Michael Wallacey reports. Things just happen. They just... Things just sometimes fall apart. How I feel now, actually. Dead. I mean, just washed out, gone, finished. You know, 12 months' work. Um, just gone. When Aspect was forced out of the Sydney to Hobart with a broken boom, impressive company had gone before it, including race favourites, Brindabella and Ragamuffin. But that didn't make it any easier on this crew. Despite the fact they're all disabled, they'd set themselves the highest goals. Oh, one word answer, win. You're not just out there to make it to Hobart. Oh, no. No, no, we're going to win. And it wasn't just skipper David Peskid with victory in mind. It was the whole crew. My intentions are basically do as good as I can do and to win it. I think you can. I think we've got a damn good chance. As final touches went on all the boats on race morning, the excitement was building. Make sure you keep your legs out of my bed. OK, no worries. Okay. <laughs> it's true preparations on Aspect are slightly different from other boats, but their lead-up form had been very impressive and they were looking to improve on their third placing last year. Bit of general persuasion? Oh, I think we'll do well. I think we'll do well. Yes, it's a very good boat and um, we've been trading together for a long time and we've got excellent steerers, good tacticians, good navigators. Good crew. Uh, good crew, yes, yes. Yeah, it's a big challenge, so it'll be a really good achievement. Hopefully we get there and um, well, it'll just be something to look back on forever. Incredibly, probably the most exciting day of my life so far, yeah. Give Australia on the right-hand side and I think it's 36 lighthouses, chuck a right and you're, you're there. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Why not? See you when you get back. Jeanette Howard starts the 1996 Telstra Sydney to Hobart race and what a charge it will be. It seems that a lot of... It didn't take long for the weather to turn bad. The 45 knot southerly blew up and the going got very tough for everyone. Late this afternoon, tragedy for the crew of Brindabella. Despite Augusta, some of its more fancied rivals being forced out, Aspect rode out the storm and started to move up through the fleet. We did very well that first night, I think, and uh, we were honking along quite nicely. We were overtaking boats and there was a couple of boats that we still wanted to overtake and everyone was talking about what they were going to do when they got to Hobart. But that was when tragedy struck, when their dreams of success were shattered. Boom just fell up very quietly to sedate me and just fell in half. That was it. And that was it. It was all over. Go home, good. It's the nature of ocean racing. This crew knows and accepts that. But it's their first major gear failure, the first time they've had to quit a race. It was just bad luck. It happened to be the one race that really mattered. I mean, everyone's disappointed. I mean, you put all that work and effort into it, and uh, all of a sudden it's, it just disappears before your eyes. It's disappointing not getting there this year, but uh, it gives us all the more reason to show that we can do it. It's for the sailors with disabilities, for the sponsorship, for everybody that supported us through this uh, campaign. We're going to be there. We're going to show that we can do that again. We've done it before and uh, we're not going to stop us. Such is the nature of these people that within minutes of realising their race was over, they'd vowed to come back next year. It's a cliche to say the overcoming of adversity, but we have done that most of us all our lives. And I think when something like this happens, it's not a case of, as Alan said, bat and ball and go home. It's a case of, OK, let's get it right next time and 
And that was exactly what the feeling was on the boat. Great commitment and a great cause. Good luck next year. Michael Woolsey there.